Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is with Browser Stack. So if you don't know by now, Browser Stack is hiring for software engineers and they are taking applications from freshers as well. So this is a great opportunity for all of you looking for a job right now. And let me tell you, Browser Stack provides a ton of benefits and they even have great work from home option available. So surely it is a great opportunity for all of you guys. So in this video, we'll be talking about the opportunity. We'll be talking about the eligibility. We'll be talking about the most important thing, how to get your resume shortlisted and eventually crack the interviews. So we're going to discuss all of this in today's video. So make sure that you watch it till the end so you don't miss out on anything. And just a quick reminder that I make a lot of videos about all of the off-campus opportunities that are out there and guides on how to crack them. So if you're a fresher or a college student looking for a job right now, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because you'll be seeing a lot of hiring alerts and tutorials on how you can crack them and it will be very helpful to you. All you have to do is click subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Now, coming back to this opportunity, like I said, Browser Stack is hiring for people having zero to one years of experience, which means that even if you're a fresher with no experience, you can apply for this. Okay, so let's get the eligibility out of the way first because people keep asking about the eligibility. What is the eligibility? So if you have graduated in 2025 or before, then you are eligible for this. Okay. So if you've graduated in 2025 or before you are eligible. Now, what about 2026 graduate? You can still apply, but the preference will be given to 2025 grads or before. Okay. So if you are 2025 grad or have graduated before, then you are like able to apply. You are eligible. You're perfectly eligible for this. That is the eligibility. If you still have any doubt, feel free to ask me in the comments. Okay. Now we come to the most important part. That is how to get your resume shortlisted. Now, the link to apply is in the description box, but do not be in a hurry to apply because you need to have the relevant content in your resume. Otherwise you'll get rejected in the resume shortlisting round itself, right? I receive a ton of messages from you guys saying that you're not able to get your resume shortlisted it's because you do not have the right content on there. So let's discuss this from basics to everything else. So the most basic thing that you need right now is have a good programming language in your resume. Now, of course, every company gives a preference to any programming language. In the case of browser stack, if you have JavaScript, Java, Python, or C, C++, or Ruby, then you will be given a bit of preference. Okay. So again, my suggestion to you will be to have either one of Java or Python. Python specifically because browser stack uh, works on Python. So if you have Python in your resume, well and good. And if you have JavaScript in your resume with web dev, then again, well and good. That will be really great. Okay. But these are basically the preferences that browser stack has. Okay. Most preference will be given to either Java Python or JavaScript. And if you have then Ruby, otherwise I don't think a lot of you guys will be knowing Ruby because Ruby is not generally considered a first language for freshers, right? So these are the programming languages. You can have one or two of them to have a better chance of getting shortlisted. Of course, after that, the next thing that you have, and the most important thing is your projects. So what kind of projects do you need to have in your resume? If you have backend projects, that will give you a bit of edge here because the role is inclined towards backend. Now, what are the tech stacks that you need in backend? If you've worked in Node.js, that will give you an edge here. If you've worked with Node.js or Mern stack, because they have mentioned it as their preference. So in backend, if you've used Node.js, show it in your resume. In backend, if you've used Python or Java Spring Boot, again, show it in your resume. Although Node.js will give you a bit more preference, other tech stacks will also give you like a little bit of preference. Okay. Because backend in general, they're looking for apart from that. If you have full stack projects, again, you can put it in the resume, try to have full stack or backend projects. Frontend may not give you that much preference, but backend and full stack projects will surely give you a bit of an edge here. Now, apart from that, I'll be doing something good for you. Like I usually do. I'll be giving you a list of keywords that align with the job description that you can put in your resume. So the list of keywords will be in the description box. You can take a look from there and then add the things that you know, or add the things that you're willing to learn in your resume. These are the keywords that will give you a better chance of passing through their screening system. Okay. List of keywords you'll find in the description box. Now, one more thing that I've noticed about browser stack is that it gives a lot of preference to people who take part in open source or hackathon. So if you've ever won a hackathon or taken a good rank in a hackathon, showcase it in your resume. If you've done good in open source or any open source program, again, showcase in your resume because browser stack cares a lot about your dev skills, about how good you are in development. Okay. In fact, two of the people that I've interviewed for browser stack interview experience have all been hackathon winner. 
so if you have done good in hackathon or open source that will give you a bit of an edge okay but that is just my observability they haven't mentioned anything like that that's just my observance okay so if you have done good something in development like some achievement in a hackathon or open source please showcase that in the resume itself okay other than that you can go down the route of referral itself so you can pretty much ask someone from browser stack to refer you that will also help you and i'll be soon making a video on how to ask for referral so make sure that you stay tuned for that but in general just put a nice message asking them for referral whoever you're asking and put in the job id or the role id okay tell them that i want to be hired for this role can you please refer me along with a couple of lines of your introduction and drive link to your resume so you can go down the route of referral as well now if you make your resume the way i've told if you do everything the way i've told you'll have a very good chance at getting shortlisted after getting shortlisted the next thing of course will be the interviews so the interviews at browser stack are a bit different compared to other companies because you do have dsa but it's not as prominent so the interview experience of browser stack is going to be different so what i'll be doing i'll be giving you some interview experiences of browser stack so i like i said i have made an interview experience of browser stack with an employee who recently cracked browser stack so you can watch that video that was to off campus you can watch that video in which he has explained the entire interview process what all they'll be asking and what all you can expect so watching that video you'll be able to understand the interview process i'll also give you some articles of interview experiences from there also you'll be able to know how to prepare and of course for preparation i'll give you some great resources in the description box so here you not only need to be good with your skills and resume but you have cs fundamentals as well cs fundamentals will be important here especially networking concepts and os concepts so make sure that you're good with networking and os important topics along with the resources will be in the description box so that's pretty much it go through the resources in the description box go through the keywords in the description box prepare your resume the right way the way that i've mentioned and you'll have a really great chance of cracking this company this is a pretty great company especially to start off your career with so give it a try give the link in the description open it and then apply the way that i've said and if you want to get your resume reviewed by me then i do resume reviews on top mate the link to that will also be in the description box or if you need any other placement help in getting shortlisting or in mastering dsa or in mastering development or anything then do not hesitate to reach out to me on top mate so that's pretty much it the link to apply is in the description box prepare a proper resume and apply from there and watch out for more videos i'll be bringing a lot more off campus opportunities so yeah let's see you in the next video